My husband is my best friend and we have a wonderful relationship. However, he's not the best in bed. I feel like our relationship is suffering because of it. What should I do? I think that is such a great question because I think there's a lot of couples that experience that where they they have all these strengths and all of this compatibility and this amazing relationship but then when it comes to their sexual relationship it just feels like a disconnect is there and they're having a hard time kind of managing that and working through that and there's something about that that doesn't feel like it's working so I'm so grateful that that person asked that question I think that that's so so good um so typically when I have couples coming in to see me and they're having issues similar to this, I think the biggest thing that I always encourage, um, I think in general, it tends to be women that tend to feel that way, tend to encourage women to like speak up. Um, the biggest thing in, in a sexual re- relationship is communication. Mm-hmm. Um, men have different arousal experiences. They have, they experience sex just so very differently than women do. Uh, And their bodies are not attached to a woman's nervous system, right? So if a husband is doing something, they might think it's awesome, or they think that it's a really great idea, but if it's doing nothing for you, it it (laughs) behooves you to say something like, hey, that's maybe not as great as I would like it to be, or it could be like, maybe let's try this. Right. Uh, I think like uh, in our culture, we have this false perception that, uh, the more sexual partners you have, the better you're going to be, the better you're going to be in bed. Right. When the reality is like every single woman is so unique in how they're wired and what feels good to them that uh, a man isn't gonna know what's gonna work for this partner as opposed to what's gonna work for this partner. Uh, And so really leaning into that communication piece and actually like taking the time to explore if what we're doing isn't working, let's figure out what does work and having that safety and having that openness in the relationship since it sounds like this relationship in particular has so many strengths yeah right like lean into those strengths have a conversation try to figure out what does work for you and what does feel good and you and your husband get to go on kind of like this new adventure together of like rejuvenating your sexual relationship and kind of going on this journey of figuring out what does work for you that makes sense and I appreciate that like you're it's just another adventure together like you know it doesn't have to be awkward I mean maybe I mean do you feel like some people feel awkward bringing this up with their spouses that they may not be quite as satisfied as maybe the other spouse thought they would oh my gosh yes that is so normal I think the fear in bringing that up is like oh what if you think I'm judging them or I think they're not good enough or like is this gonna cause is this gonna cause a fight right I still say, I think there's a lot of, it's really normal for there to be a lot of apprehension and nervousness and like, how is this going to go over if I bring this up that I'm actually not super happy in our sexual relationship, right? Um, But my encouragement is like, you're investing in the future, right? Mm. The more, uh, the more enjoyable the sexual relationship is for both partners, the more you're both going to want to step into that space and continue to go back there and keep enjoying that together. Right. And so really it's, it's investing in the future and investing in like this really important aspect of the relationship, even though it is kind of awkward, like ripping that bandaid off, right. And (laughs) saying something first, of course that feels uncomfortable. Um, But just how much of an investment it is to step into that. I love how you're framing it also as like an investment, you know, it's worth it. I feel like sometimes, you know, an investment means that like the cost might be great, but like there's an even greater reward, you know, on the other side is what it seems like. So um, yeah, I really appreciate all of your insight into that. And um, I think it is true. I mean, you think about any other conflict within a marriage, like generally the resolution is talking about it. So even though sex maybe seem like this whole separate category, like it makes sense that talking about it is kind of the way through just like we would have any other issue (laughs) right and I think like 
uh, as you were talking, Brittany, I just thought of like another piece of that, like when we have emotional stuff going on, I think it's a little bit easier to like ask for what we need, right? Like, yeah. hey, like I, that common thing, like I don't even need you to fix that. I just need you to listen, right? And I think like using that same skill in the sexual relationship of being able to communicate your needs, like this is actually what works for me or this actually sounds like it might be better if you try this over here, right? And like just communicating your need is such an important part of any relationship, yeah. Yeah, no, I love that. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that.